eating my bagel and washing my hair. Then it all hit me, I started to fall. This working girl thing isn't working at all. This is no life as a working girl. And it's not what I had in mind. So right then I started to think this thing through. On my way here to work, did a total review. And this is what I find. Glass ceilings and plastic cubicles your chest. Hard software and difficult customers, co-workers working your nerves. On your break, 15 minutes, you run down for flight to frantically chain smoke your last Salem light. This is no life as a simple girl from a small town near Portland, OR. You squirm in your seat when the manager you greet wants to tell you how pretty you are. For a simple hometown girl. Somber meetings and happy hour hangovers, copy machines that don't work. No pay for overtime, you're on a salary, thinking less than the receptionist Valley. Has baked excuses for hard boiled bosses and five o'clock deadlines to meet. It's takeout from Wendy's and lunchtime aerobics. Having your hair done by heterophobic. It's no life for a pretty girl with no time to meet a nice guy. Cause men don't make passes at girls who make glasses. It seems they just don't catch their eye. This is no life for a pretty Religious coffee that spills in your lap. Sitting in traffic and cursing at flush. Getting rear-ended while putting on blush. Glass ceilings and crass corporate attitudes. Never a chance to advance. You train the new guy cause you're so devoted. You've got seniority. He gets promoted. It's no life for a college grad. Who's so broke she can't even make rent? And feeling her fear, career will end here. That ceiling's not glad it's a mess. So you make your adjustments, control your confusions, justify choices, abandon illusions.